car in my pocket. This is me, Jason Mason, and I live here in Sunny Sands. It's called Sunny Sands because it's always sunny and it's by the sea. This is Mr. Whoops's toy shop where you can buy anything and everything. And here's Miss Smiley's cafe, which serves the best ice cream sundaes in the world. My dad loves working in his bike shop, and we all love spending time at our beach hut on the beach. This is my house where I live with my mum, dad, sister Jemima, grandpa, and his dog Beowulf. Beowulf is a very clever dog, and he loves playing games. In fact, we all love playing games, and today we were playing table football. Dad had borrowed a table football game for the weekend. I was on the red team with Grandpa, and Dad and Jemima were on the blue team. The whole family had got into the football mood. Jemima had even dressed her dolls, Peter and Persephone, in football kit. I've always been good at football. Shame you can't play anymore, Grandpa. Yes, great shame. Then Mum came into the garden. She just had a phone call. I've just had a phone call. Guess who's coming over? Cousin Alvin. I told him about the table football. He can't wait to have a go. Oh, but I thought Alvin didn't like sport. He didn't. But he does now. Cousin Alvin is always changing. Sometimes he's into playing music. Sometimes he's into eating ice cream. Sometimes he's into dancing. And sometimes he's into lying about on the sofa doing absolutely nothing. But now Cousin Alvin was into this. Sport, sport and more sport. Don't overdo it, Alvin. I'm OK. I need to get really fit so I can win at everything. Oh, so you're into winning, are you? Of course. There's no point in playing if you can't win. Yes, this was the day we discovered that Cousin Alvin was... in it to win it. Go! That's another And one. it wasn't long before Alvin was winning at table football. 3-0! 3-0! I knew what Grandpa was thinking. Let's make it four. I think I'll go for a little lie down. Go! I can't stand much more of this. We've got to make Alvin see that it's okay to lose. He'll never see that. He just might if my plan works. Only I need to be small. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get up to all kinds of things. He can drive off in my car. He can even fly off in my plane. Grandpa! He can chuff about in our Sunny Sands train. He can get into all sorts of very small places. Or he can just run for all he's worth. And he wasn't the only one running. Alvin was making everyone jog on the spot to see who could keep going the longest. First, Mum gave up. I don't think I was meant to run. Then Dad. Sorry, I can't take any more. And finally, Jemima. You're too good, Alvin. I knew I'd beat you. I am the champion. I it was am time the to put Grandpa's plan into action. So, what game should we play next then? Don't look at me. I'm worn out. I think I'll go for a little lie down like Grandpa. How about some real football? Or rugby? I Rah! needed to get Alvin inside. I needed an idea, and I needed it fast. How about Snap? Snap? Might not have been my best idea. That's not a sport. Are you saying you couldn't beat us at Snap then? I could easily beat you at Snap. Bring it on! 
So we went inside and started playing Snap. Your turn, Jason. No stopping allowed. Snap! <laughs> you two are so slow. Alvin was winning again. If Grandpa was going to do something, he needed to do it now. Ow! Something just near me on the ankle. Has Beowulf got fleas? No! Of course, I knew it wasn't a flea. It was Grandpa. Ow! Snap! That's not fair! You're the one who said no stopping allowed, Alvin. But I'm being attacked by a pesky little flea. I'm not playing anymore. It's a baby's game anyway. Who cares about winning a snap? I want to play a proper sport. What else have you got? So Jemima suggested we play our tennis game. Great! I'll easily beat you. Well, you got Evan to lose, Grandpa. But he didn't find it fun. It's got to be worth another try. Anyway, I'm rather enjoying being a pesky little flea. <laughs> so Mum got the tennis game out of the garage. And Jemima and Alvin started to play. The pesky little flea ran into the garden and hid behind a flower pot right next to Alvin. I was really worried that Grandpa would be spotted, but luckily everybody had their eyes on the ball, so they didn't see the flea creep out and nip Alvin on the ankle. Ow, ow, ow! It's that flea again! I won! No, you didn't. I think she did, Alvin. I don't want to play anymore. Nor am I. You're such a bad loser. I didn't even lose. Yes, you did. I'll make some lunch. The good news was Jemima had won the game. The bad news was that she and Alvin had fallen out. I think you better stop being a flea, Grandpa. It's just making things worse, and now nobody's having fun. Don't you worry, Jason. I've got a much better idea. You go and ask Alvin if he'd like to play table football with you. I'll do the rest. OK, I'll easily beat you at table football. As long as I don't get bitten again. I want to give that dog a bath. So I went into the garden with Alvin. I had no idea what Grandpa was planning until I saw this. Grandpa had taken his clothes off and put Peter's football kit on. This time Grandpa had gone too far. He was standing on the table pretending to be one of the footballers. Can I be the red team please? Yes, OK. Ready to play? Oh, one nil! Beginner's luck. Luckily, Alvin was so busy trying to win that he didn't notice that I had an extra player or that it was my extra player who was scoring all the goals. Two nil! I was lucky. 4 nil. Go, go, go! <sighs> oh, five! I've never seen anyone play like you. How do you do it? Um, I just relax and try to have fun. You mean, you don't care about winning? Not really. Weird. Yes. Well, this not caring thing seems to work. Maybe you should try it. At six nil down, I'm willing to try anything. Come on, let's go for it. We played on. Grandpa was doing a great job for my team, and as for Alvin, well, he started not to care so much. And the less he cared about winning, the more he started to have fun. Goal! At last! Six one! Good shot! Thanks. Nice one, Jason. Thanks. I don't believe it. Alvin's losing and he's enjoying himself. This was definitely worth waking up for. Goal! That's it. You've won, Jason. I don't know how he does it. He's an incredible player. <laughs> well done, Alvin. Can have some lunch? <laughs> of course I couldn't tell him that the really incredible player was Grandpa. Oh, I really enjoyed that. But I think I'd better go and get changed now. 
I picked Grandpa up, put him in my pocket and rushed back indoors. I'm sorry I was so annoying earlier, Jemima. I just wanted to win too much. That's OK. We can play table football again after lunch if you like. Great. I'll easily beat you at table football. <laughs> Only joking. <laughs> I put Grandpa down on the floor. He whipped off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size. Oh, oh, we did it, Jason. We got Alvin to have fun even when he was losing. <laughs> Teamwork, eh? Yes, Grandpa. <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> You missed a great game. Did I? We're going to play again. Do you want to join us? Oh, no, thank you, Alvin. I'm a bit too tired to play football. <laughs> oh, Grandpa, you don't have to actually play. You're so funny. Come on, Alvin. Grandpa.